In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 9, verses 43 through to 48. And they were all amazed in the, at the majesty of God. But while everybody marveled at all the things which Jesus did, he said to his disciples, Let these words sink down into your ears. For the Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying, and it was hidden from them, so that they did not perceive it, and they were afraid to ask him about this saying. Then a dispute arose among them as to which of them would be greatest. And Jesus, perceiving the thoughts of their heart, took a little child and set him by him. And said to them, Whoever receives this little child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among you all will be great. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants. In the scripture reading, it's in two sections. The first part is a prediction of what is about to happen. How Jesus was going to be betrayed and handed over to men. The second part is who is the greatest? As we read, there's a bit of a dispute rose up among the apostles saying, uh, who amongst them is the greatest? Is it Peter? Is it Andrew? Is it John? Jesus knew what was on their hearts. And there was a young boy nearby, young child. And he placed him next to himself, Jesus. And he said, He whoever, who, whoever receives this little child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives him, God the Father. And then it goes on. This is the crunch. For he who is least among you will be the greatest. Whoever is least among you will be the greatest. He wants us to be childlike, simple, innocent. Yes. And as a child is dependent on its parents. We read yesterday about Jesus being lost and being found in the temple talking to the Pharisees and the scribes, etc., in the temple, the teachers, and then became subject to his parents, to his mother Mary, to his stepfather Joseph. Just as good parents take care of their child, they took care of Jesus as a child, and he grew in stature and knowledge. So too, 
Christ wants us to be simple children, dependent on God. Yes, not to be cocksure of ourselves and proud. No. As we know, Scripture also, you've heard the saying, pride comes before the fall. Yes, how many people have you seen in history who thought themselves so great and they all fell? There are many out there. And even to this very day, we find the same thing happening in the world today. Those who think themselves mightier than the others will soon be brought low, will soon fall. To be a true Christian, to be a true follower of Christ, we must be, as we have been told in other parts of scriptures, servants. Yes. We lead by example, serving on others. Priests, deacons, and even bishops need to be servants of their flock. must be. Christ gave us that example. Just think, remember back when Jesus at the Last Supper washed the feet of his apostles as a servant would do. He got a bowl of water. He wrapped an apron around him his waist to dry the feet, knelt down at the feet of each of the apostles, washed them, dried them, as a servant would do. Yes, Christ showed us what we should do through example. And likewise, we as Christians need to show the love of Christ in what we do. To become childlike, to depend on God. God showed us the love. Christ showed us the sacrifice and lived the life that we should live. The Holy Spirit is there, the helper, the guide, to support us. Remember that. And when you read the scriptures and you learn about Christ more, pray. Pray that you too can, can become just like this child. Give God the glory every day for the opportunities he gives you. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.